was looking forward to beating you six love again. <clears throat> ah, the flu. Doctors loaded me up with all kinds of junk. <clears throat> she spies. Oh, going very well. Cross seems to be just what they needed. All right, give my best to Jesse. Recover a vial of weaponized anthrax and escape undetected. Actually, uh. 17 minutes, 16 seconds. A new record. You're the fastest. The baddest. The hottest. Kate, when you feel good, you look good. Thank you, Oprah. Can you pull this stuff and put it over there. Whoa. Somebody spiked the brownies? Or else we got a new espresso machine. Hey, hey, did you guys hear? Hear what, Duncan? We're on heightened security alert. What happened? I don't know. It needs no only. I don't know anyone that knows. Where's Cross? He left two hours ago. He went home. Now I can't get him on his cell phone, his pager, or his home phone. Midnight rendezvous? Man's in charge of a covert espionage agency. It's safe to assume he does the nasty with his page on. That can't be comfortable. Unless it's on vibrate. Well, why isn't he answering his page now? Good question. All right, one case at a time. Weaponized anthrax. This needs to go to the property room. Be really careful not to drop it. Unless you want to take out a whole city block. Okay. Next case. Fine cross. Anybody home? Motion, pressure, heat. All sensors were off. So is Cross here? It's a good question. Wow. Look at this place. Cross has taste. See, no one's making him decorate with government seizures. Hey, where could you buy it? He's still alive. Where's the wound? I don't know. He's not bleeding. Well, then where did all this blood come from? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's OK. What? I don't think you're hurt. Check this out. He may not be bleeding. Somebody is. There are three career criminals with one shot at freedom. Now they're working for the feds who put them away. These are the women of She Spies. Bad girls gone good. Where I get worried, you 
found me. Psychotherapeutic drugs can be used to wipe out short-term memory. Deliver how? A cup of coffee? No, I never stop for one. Dart, maybe? I don't know, I'm sore back here. Could be a dart. Or a mosquito bite. Well, one thing's for sure, it's not your blood. But that is my knife. I'm gonna have to call internal security. Well, I can save you the trouble. Well, that would be a first. Ladies, John Marshall, internal security. ISI, not good enough to spy, just good enough to snoop. What happened to you? I don't know. That's why I was gonna call you. I didn't get the chance, so since you're here, there must be another reason. I came to tell you the chairman's been murdered, stabbed to death. But I think you already know that. I can't believe a man as experienced as the chairman allowed himself to get stabbed in the back. Yeah, he was sick and on medication. You know it slows down your reflexes. And he probably knew his attacker, so his guard was down. So you think Cross did it? I don't know. I'm pretty good at reading people, and all I ever got from him was straight as an arrow. Yeah, but if you really think about it, how much do we know about him? Zip? Diddly? Squat. Hello. Hey, Duncan. The knife in Cross's apartment was positively ID'd as the murder weapon, and the DNA matches the chairman's. Great. That's not the only news. We have a new boss. Okay, I'll tell them. Cross has already been replaced. Well, we're just breaking all kinds of records. Who is it? Her name is Erica Pierce. Why don't I have a good feeling about this? You don't like working for a woman? No, it's not that. It just seems Cross got replaced awfully fast. I've never had a female boss before. What about Beverly? The shower guard in cell block six? I don't think she counts as a woman. We should go. This is gonna be so weird. Never been on this side of a prison visit before. Opening the gate. Lecture setup is a little creepy. Please don't tell us you just ate the guard's liver. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit? There's 80 bucks in the office pool. Just want to make sure before we put our money on innocent. We know the blood on the knife matches the chairman's DNA. But we're hoping you can tell us something that will make us winners. If I wanted to kill you, I might stab you in the heart with a ballpoint pen. Or slit your throat with an index card. Or simply deliver a blow to your nose that would send bone shards into your brain. But I would never stab you in the back. You know all this? It's starting to make sense. So in a roundabout way, you're saying you're innocent. That would be correct. That's all we needed to know. We're gonna get you out of here. Do not get involved. John Marshall's a dangerous man. If you try and take him on, he'll take you down with me. The best thing you can do is go back and do whatever Erica Pierce tells you to. You know Erica Pierce? Man, prison gossip travels faster than instant messaging. She was the director of the San Francisco office for five years. She's highly respected. But she's going to need your help. She'll get all the help she needs once we capture the person who framed you. Have you heard a word I said? Sure. Something about a highly respected person who needs our help.
Marshall's been known to be sloppy with evidence. Start with my apartment. After you check in with Erica. Mr. Cross killed the chairman? Believe me, he didn't do it. All the evidence says that he did. Mr. Cross is a professional killer, and that was an amateur murder. Yeah, if he wanted to kill you, he'd slit your throat with your ID band. Or stab you with your own pencil. Or shove your nose into your brain. Hmm. Well, it sounded scarier when he said it. Good, you're here. Miss Pierce, the She Spies. Well, it's a pleasure finally meeting you. Heard a lot about the She Spies program. Heard about you, too. Good things for Mr. Cross. I'm afraid his situation has gone from bad to worse. Yesterday, $5 million was transferred into Cross's personal bank account. We're trying to trace it, but it isn't easy. So what are you saying? Someone paid Cross to take out the chairman? I'm not saying anything. I have known Quentin Cross for five years, and there's no way he could have done this. Okay, fine. The wall is secure. Right. Tell that to John Marshall. I do my job. Marshall does his. And right now, my job is to keep this place running. I just got word that there's a group of former KGB agents planning a theft of nerve gas. Intel reports that they're operating out of a bar in Glendale. Now, I need you to get in there. See if you can get a lead on their plans. We're on it. What do you mean, we're on it? What about Cross? He said we should do our jobs. We don't want to raise any suspicions from ISI. We do stuff like this all the time. How long could it take? The fastest. The hottest. The baddest. Outside, watch me. something you should see. Go, Shane. I'm in. Yeah, OK, so... Uh... You're pretty, but uh, I need broads can put on show, you know, not just mixing drinks. I can sing a little. I can hum. Oh, and I do a great impression of Weird Al Yankovic. What? You've heard it. I thought you were doing Tom Arnold. Why would anyone do Tom Arnold? Uh, shut up. I don't care who's doing who, all right? My customers want this.
There's a truck blocking the back door. The only way out is through the bar. Want to see struggle more bottles? No, I can't afford house cleaning. Oh, no, no, no. Just give us another chance. We just, uh, we're a little rusty. I have seen oxes with more grace. Manager's on his way back. Give me the Times Square countdown. In three, two, one. Happy New Year. Oh! Oh! Please say the drama. <laughs> Why do we even bother going undercover? I don't know. I think a good bar fight works up an appetite. map. They might identify the facility these guys are going to hit. That was fast. We're in a groove. Little problem. Ooh, groove's got a scratch. The map's in Slavonic. Gonna take me a while to translate it. That's our Didi. Hooked on Slavonics. Let me know when you get something. Hey, 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 guys. Have you seen the schedule? What schedule? Marshall's interviewing every ComSent employee that works with Mr. Cross. I'm up next. You guys are after me. We don't have time for this. You gotta make time. This guy is like the Hulk on steroids. Well, if we're not back, stall him. What am I supposed to do? This guy's got years of professional integrity. Stop here. Stall him, not us. Sweeper team did a pretty good job. There's not much left. Well, this blood may be enough. Cross was right about Marshall, though. He is sloppy with evidence. Lucky for us. Wouldn't it be actually interesting if there was something on those screens? A lot more interesting than you think. Panic room? Why would a guy as cool as Cross need a panic room? It's a good place to hide if a date goes out. But if you interviewed the neighbors, they'd say Cross was the quiet type. They never had a problem with them. Yeah, good thing. He was in the army. Be all you can be. Be whoever you want to be.
Married? Getting married? Was married? Got divorced? <sighs> yeah. Great. We'll be right in. Dee Dee figured out the map. Put those back exactly the way you found them. I used to do this for a living, remember? You got caught, remember? There are instructions here at the top of the map. Bay, where have you been? She's a half an hour late for her interview. And she's going to be later. We're busy. You're interfering with an official investigation. And you're interfering with the mission that takes precedence over your investigation. We're talking about murder. And you already have your killer. We'll see what Washington has to say. Bureaucrats. The smaller the cubicle, the bigger the ego. Oh, you were saying? According to this, the plan is to steal a shipment of VX nerve gas from a minimum security army depot. Wow, that's got to be worth some serious money. Millions on the black market. So all we have to do is notify the army, and poof, bad guys are toast. Poof? What's wrong? Can't say poof? Ladies, ladies, can we focus? Now, it's more than likely the Army Depot has been infiltrated by undercover operatives. We won't know who to trust. So you want us to get the nerve gas and sort it all out later? Cross was right. You women are good. Now, after you take control of the nerve gas, transport the shipment to a secure facility in Palmdale. KGB. Otherwise, I'd feel terrible. I'll call ComSec. Get a sweeper team in. I'll see you later. Whoa! You later. Wait a minute. How fast can that doctor friend of yours run a DNA test on the blood that we found across his apartment? Faster than you can deliver nerve gas to Palmdale. You're on. I'll see you at home. I'll be waiting for you. <sighs> so love challenge. Wait a second. Playing fast and furious with chemical weapons is not a good idea. competitive spirit, but driving 80 miles an hour to Palmdale with nerve gas seems a bit over the top. Way to take the thrill out of victory, man. All I'm saying is you don't always have to win at everything. Why not? It's not healthy. And losing is? Take my advice. Never coach Little League. <laughs> Federal agents don't move! Deidre Cummings, Shane Phillips, you're under arrest. For what? For hijacking a military convoy. I don't know what's going on. I'll but tell we you need what's to... going on. Cross self destructs, and you ex cons see it as a chance to cash in. We didn't steal that nerve gas. We did exactly what we were told. We dressed up as soldiers, knocked out the MPs, and grabbed the gas from the Army Weapons Depot. That didn't sound right. Maybe you should explain it. Okay, we did steal the nerve gas. No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Maybe you shouldn't explain it. We stole it from the guys who already stole it from the Army. She told us they were ex-KGB. Let me get this straight. You stole nerve gas from the U.S. Army because she told you to do it. 
You can check it out yourself. There's a bar in Glendale. Not anymore, there isn't. People are gone by now. It's all a big scam. So you can do what? Sell the gas in the black market? Now, there's something you don't see every day. Criminals inventing their alibis in front of you. Get them out of here. Well, I guess I owe you an apology. You couldn't have seen that coming. What about McBain? Don't worry. I'll find her. Be it ever so humble. Home, sweet home. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We're not here to stay. We're going to get ourselves out of here. Oh, great class reunion. Well, well, look who's back. The ugly stepsisters. Jolene. Or Cinderella. We got teeth again. Yeah, is that a new set or the same ones I knocked out on the exercise yard? I've bulked up since we saw each other last. Yeah, I know she put on a little weight. I can bench press 350 pounds. I can do 200 single arm push ups. And I can break your skinny little legs with my hands like two crackers. Mmm. You really need to broaden your tough talk vocabulary. I'm sure there's some tapes you can order. Don't you just love catching up with old friends? Mm, mm, mm. The alarm is rigged. If she tries to get in, we'll know. What if she's standing right behind you? It's a personal safety alarm I rigged. It's really annoying. Oh. Duncan, relax. You're perfectly safe here. Yeah. I'm not so sure about that anymore. What? I know I help you guys, but I don't want to get involved with this kind of stuff. I mean, even if I did, I don't have the transit infrastructure in place to... Duncan, what are you talking about? The nerve gas you guys stole. We didn't... St Duncan, where are Dee Dee and Shane? They've been arrested for hijacking. There's a warrant out for you, too. We didn't hijack anything. Our assignment was to recover the gas from a group of rogue soldiers. Ms. Pierce says you stole that nerve gas from the U.S. Army. We knew there was something not right about that woman. She set us up, Duncan. And she framed Cross, too. Cassie, as much as I want to believe you, you are a convicted criminal. I'm innocent this time. Yeah, this time. There's a statement that inspires trust. Look, I have the proof. I got a sample of the chairman's blood from Cross's apartment and had it tested. There were no drugs in his system. No drug of any kind. So? The chairman was home sick with the flu. His blood would have been full of decongestants and antihistamines and pain relievers. Which means they must have gotten the blood from him before he was sick. Maybe some kind of routine medical exam. The blood must have been planted. Erica framed Cross so she could take his place and use us to steal the nerve gas. Cassie, I'm so sorry. I know how you can make it up to me. Anything. Do you know where they took Dee Dee and Shane? Terminal Island, same as Mr. Cross. We got work to do. All right, I need three things from you. The thinnest tracking device you can make. Reroute a phone call from Terminal Island to the Justice Department. And forge an ID. Take a nice photo, counselor. Thank you. But it's my credentials that got me where I am, so I'd appreciate a little eye contact. Sorry. Well, this is a big case for the Justice Department. You have uh, Cross, Cummings, and Phillips, three double agents. Why, for a senior prosecutor like yourself, that could build a career, couldn't it? And I fully intend to. Well, you have the paperwork. We'll get started. I'll have to uh, call DC to confirm the transfer. I'd be worried if you didn't. Now, this won't take long. If you go down to processing, you can start signing them out now. Great. All right.
What's the problem? Hey, my white bread cellmate's got some kind of food allergy. She said she was allergic to peanuts, so I slipped some in her pudding at lunch, you know, see if she was lying. Open A8! Deputy Attorney General's office. Yeah, this is Warden Antista at Terminal Island. I'm calling to confirm your authorization of an Alicia Bentley to make a prisoner transfer. Alyssa Bentley, yes. Senior prosecutor. Her badge number is A176Z. Oh, hold on, excuse me. Go ahead. What's that number again? Uh, A176Z. Thanks for calling. Mm. Any chatter on Cassie? Um, no. no. Nothing yet. Her cell phone is still not on? No. Weird, huh? Otherwise, I would have uh, uh, triangulated her position. You think you should be trying to reach Didi or Shane? Yeah. Yeah, you'd think. Oh. Um, uh, Miss Pierce. Yes. Um. Uh. Yes. Can banana milk go bad? Don't waste my time. Going to get your day in court. What if I don't want my day in court? You don't get a vote. What the hell are you doing? It's a long story starring Eric Pierce. And the Oscar goes to Didi. I kind of don't know that my co-star. Ah, uh, screw up already? No, getting out. What? Nice butt officer. A little too nice for the bulls around here. What are you doing in that uniform? Listen, don't be stupid. I can break you out of here along with us. I don't believe in fairy tales. How about Dreamland? <laughs> that woman just can't hold on to her teeth. You've got to admit, it's a brilliant plan. Confirms what I've always suspected. I'm a genius? Lunatic. That's a fine line. Get it. The warden said he'd have Shane and Didi out in a couple of minutes. What the? Looks like the brilliant plan just blew up in your face. Walmart! Walmart! Okay, so they broke themselves out before I had a chance to. We're very competitive that way. Walmart! <laughs> America's most wanted. You want to share the rest of your plan? Any second now, Erica will know we're out. She'll think we're going to come after her. So she'll run. Right. That's why I had Duck and Lojacker. That kid deserves a raise. I don't know how they escaped. I just know they did. It's only a matter of time until they find me. We've got to move fast. Good, good. Keep me posted. Looks like McBain got into the prison with false identification and forged paperwork. ID that good and fast had to come from here. What about the warden's phone call? Intel says it was routed through telephone exchanges in nine different countries and bounced off two satellites. And where did it end up? Oh, we're still tracking it. Should know in about a half an hour. Duncan! Duncan! Could you give me a hand? I need help in carrying something for my car. Well, um, I'm actually kind of busy right now. I'm working on a new... Servo activated tr transpositional flux capacitors. Duncan. It can wait. Oh, 
are you, are you all right, sir? I'm all right. Sir, are you... you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much longer? We're just waiting for a fuel truck. Cheer up, it's better this way. I'm supposed to quietly resign in a month or two, not spend the rest of my life hiding. Get it in. I want everything inside. Looks like we get a snag. I've got another brilliant plan. How would you feel about a Trojan horse? Let's go. You could have walked to Brazil by now. What is taking so long? The heat makes it seem longer. You're late. Yeah, we would have been here sooner, but it took us longer to break out of prison than we thought. <laughs> Taken the ride, Quinton. Even if they convicted you, guilty's better than dead. You'll have the same chance if you give up now. <laughs> I stole nerve gas. Frame four people. Kill the chairman. Do the math. <laughs> <laughs> The nerve gas secure? It's not going anywhere. Apparently, neither is she. You know, she's lucky you didn't have an index card. You should be more careful of the kind of people you endorse. So then she shot at me, but I escaped, and then she shot at Marshall, and then she got away, so I called the ambulance? You lead a very interesting life, your senior technician. <laughs> Tell me about it. So how's John Marshall? Well, he's in the hospital. He should be out in a few days. What about Cross? He's being debriefed. So why'd you bring us in here? Those were the orders. Whose orders? My orders. Mr. Chairman? Hello, ladies. Surprised to see me? Well, kind of, yeah, because we heard you were uh, no longer with us. Well, as you can clearly see, I am. But I wasn't able to see who tried to kill me. So you played out the charade to flush out the killer. I knew Cross was innocent. And I agonized over putting him through that ordeal, but I had no other choice. Fortunately, thanks to your stellar work, we captured Erica Pierce. And recovered the stolen nerve gas. Didn't you steal that in the first place? Well, yeah. But we got it back in less than 24 hours. Which has got to be some sort of record, right? Thank you, ladies. A year and a half as a spy, and I'm still surprised what people do in this business. Pretending you're dead? Oh, my God, it's one of the basic tools of the trade. If it's so basic, how come you didn't figure it out? Oh, I would have figured it out by the end of the day. Well, I would have nailed it by this afternoon. I figured it out an hour ago. I just didn't want to blow the surprise. Dinner at Paradise Cove. That's one way to say thanks for exposing a cover-up, recovering nerve gas, and proving my innocence. Yeah, I'm sure it's hard to find the right words to say. Even harder to find a Hallmark card that says it all. Especially the gas part. Right words? You 
risked your lives on the belief that I was innocent. Put your faith in a man you barely know. Thank you. You're welcome. And I suppose you're wondering about those gold rings in my safe. But how'd you know? We put those back exactly the way we found them. Your exact and my exact aren't exactly the same. Well, as long as the rings are out of the box. If it's a secret, we understand. And we'll respect your decision to keep it that way. No, he won't. Because he knows a lot more about us than we know about him. And I always will. <laughs>